hello friends welcome back today we are going to see how to integrate Tasmota base ESP32 cam with node red so let's get started if you are interested in knowing how to set up the Tasmota on ESP32 cam board then you should watch this video after flashing the appropriate Tasmota binary file into the ESP32 board next thing we need to do is to go to the Tasmota main menu page for me this page is available at this IP address that is 192.168.1.100 this is the IP of my network you can have the different IP and you can get the main menu page of your Tasmota by using that IP so this is the main menu page of the Tasmota you can see the camera is on at the same time we need to configure the GPIO4 as the LED pin which can be done I have already done that you can see this toggle button in order to configure the pin 4 of the ESP32 cam as the LED pin you need to go to the configuration then click here on configure module and set GPIO4 as the relay pin you can save the configuration and exit this page go to the main menu click here on the toggle button you can see LED is on now the LED is off so we are done with the configuration of the Tasmota now let us go to the node red you can start node red from the terminal by typing node dash red if you are interested in knowing how to install and use the node red on ubuntu based system then watch this video so our node red is running just copy this address and paste it into the browser so node red is running first task we need to do is to capture the image from the esp32 cam board so for that purpose just go to this node palette go to the dashboard and drag this template node here if you want to know how to install the dashboard on the node red then just go over here click here on manage palettes click here on install just search node dash red dash dashboard so you can install this dashboard from here so we will configure this template node by clicking over here we will add some new dashboard group click here keep the name as default add new dashboard tab give the name as node red cam click here on add click here on add we need to add some code over here So write img source is equal to in double quotes http colon double slash ip address for the esp32 cam that is 192.168.1.100 add colon and write the port name as 81 slash stream set the width set it as 600 set height as 400 click here on done so our template node is configured just click here on deploy click here so now you can see the stream available with us if you don't get the image from the Tasmota based ESP32 cam then you need to run some commands from the console just go to the Tasmota main menu page click here on the consoles 
click here on console just run this command so we are initiating the WC in it on boot and we are setting this at the rule 1 set this rule so we will run the rule 1 and we will restart the task motor device by entering the command restart 1 so task motor is restarting so booting of task motor device is complete so let us refresh this page now you can see the image is available from the ESP32 cam you can see this Arduino board we are going to add some control over here we would like to operate the LED from the node red so come here to the node red page for that purpose we need a node called switch drag this switch here drag the function node over here drag the change node over here drag this node that is HTTP request and place it over here so we will configure this switch I am going to change the group to the node red cam we will change the label to LED so this is the group we are interested in this is the tab rather node red and default is the group so configuration for LED is done just come over here we will add some code over here so this is the command to operate the LED and message payload is provided by the LED switch so setting is done come to this node write here URL set this as message and write here as payload so configuration is done come here to the HTTP request keep everything as it is click here on done we will connect all these nodes let us click here on deploy ignore this this is for other flows so click here so now you can see switch called LED is available over here we will operate the LED by turning the switch on now you can see LED on ESP32 cam board is on turn the LED off so we have added this functionality to this node red application now I have created the flow 3 for this purpose so here is the flow 3 and here I have added the functionality like the brightness change contrast change resolution change for LED operation we have seen the functionality for all other nodes these three nodes the codes and the settings will be the same for varying the brightness contrast and resolution I have used the slider node this is available in the dashboard drag it it over here click here on the brightness node here the group is cam2 ESP cam cam2 and the range set is minus 2 to 2 in step of 1 click here on this slider node con called contrast so here the range is set as minus 2 to plus 2 in steps of 1 click here on the resolution here the range is set from 0 to 13 in steps of 1 let me enable this tab which I disabled earlier so tab is enabled 
so we will deploy it and let us see how it works click here on ESP cam now you can see the streaming is available over here as well here is the LED switch and these are the slider controls for brightness for varying the brightness contrast and resolution let us try to vary the brightness now you can see brightness is varied and the picture has become more bright we will try to vary the contrast see contrast is varying we will try to change the resolution now you can see the resolution is getting changed now you can see my Arduino board over here this, this is the devkit v1 ESP32 board so now we have successfully integrated node red with the Tasmota base ESP32 cam after this we will try to capture the stream on the home assistant just go to the home assistant page this is my home assistant page for getting the stream from the ESP32 cam board just click here on add card which is in the overview tab come here on the picture just click over here so enter the IP address for the ESP32 cam that is 192.168.1.100 port is 81 slash stream make this as HTTP now stream is available now you can see this Arduino board over here click here on save and now you can see the image stream is available from the ESP32 cam board so in this video we have seen how to integrate the ESP32 cam board which is Tasmota based with the node red and with the home assistant as well we have successfully done that so that's it for today thanks for watching the video if you like this video then please hit the like button please share this video with your friends do not forget to subscribe to this channel thanks again and have a good time